Hello everyone, you are welcome on the African Spiritual Connections TV. My name is Corbin, your usual host. Now, I recently posted a video where I talk about Africans going back home to their roots, to their schoolhouse. So, what happens after you have gone back home to your schoolhouse? I don't even want to say schoolhouse anymore, I want to say throne room. Throne room. We are no more African Africans are no more sitting on, on stools. We sit on thrones. You see, we are done with the European uh, um, um, misdemeanor and the stereotype of the African concepts and African systems, whereby our kings are referred to as chiefs so that they will be inferior to the, the king of Britain, whereby our thrones are referred, are referred as stools so that it will be seen smallish and inferior to the throne of the British kingdom. So we are henceforth referring to our the one that we usually call stool house. We want to refer to them as throne rooms, throne rooms, throne room. All right. So after you have visited your throne room and you have accepted to embrace your ancestors, what happens next? Well, you can see I'm holding something in my hand. All right. I'm going to use this in this video. I'm going to use this to teach you how to connect with your ancestors, so that the journey into spirituality becomes almost seamless for you right these are the basics if you don't know this and you jump into the higher realms i'm telling you you are you are you are putting yourself in serious danger because those energies that should be in those realms protecting you are the ones that you haven't even connected with yet some of you are doing things anyhow because you've seen people processing stuff preaching stuff you also want to jump into it and practice but you know that in spirituality you start from the basics and build yourself upwards when you raise your vibration and frequency to some level then we can give you everything that you need to, to to get so take your time on this channel we are going to build your spirituality level to uh, to to the point where you can meditate and have encounter with your own energies all right i began not long ago step by step learning under 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 the masters i've reached somewhere today therefore it is my duty to also give back to society so when you go back home right go and buy this when you will plan to go to your throne room go and buy snap this four bottles four bottles of snap now what are you going to do with the snap you leave one bottle in your house and take three bottles to your stool house all right leave one bottle in your house and take three bottles to your throne room excuse my language it's going to take me a bit of time to be conversant with the new level i mean the, the new normal throne room when you go talk to your family head or the one that inherited the throne of the family and give the person one snap and ask that everywhere you go they tell you that your situation is is as a result of you neglecting your home your ancestors and the deities of your family you want to come and make peace you didn't come to challenge you are tired of the war you are, you are tired of fighting you're tired of running away now you want to accept yourself and accept your roots and accept who you are your culture and your customs and your traditions that's that's why you are back home so give one but uh, snap one bottle of snap to the the caretaker of the throne room and ask the person to pray for you with that snap so the person will do the justice and use the snap to pray for you after that you yourself take a second bottle a second bottle and tell the caretaker that you want to also pray for your own self so you open you hit the bottle three times and you open and you pour straight from the bottle and pray for your own self whatever is on your mind tell the, the ancestors whatever you seek from them tell them whichever way you want your relationship with them to go tell them whichever way you want them to associate themselves with you tell them and let them understand that anytime that you call them anywhere you want them to quickly run to your aid put into their hands your business put into your hands your self survivability 
your self-preservation, put it in, into their hands, your children, your marriage, your friendship. If there is any dark energy, any negative energy that's around you, hoping to hop on you and distract your, your life, they should ward off all such negative energies. If there are any negative friends in your life that want your, fall, your, your downfall, you should take care of them. So say all that you want, pray for yourself. When you are done, take the third bottle. So I made it by four. I said leave one at home. Go to the throne room with three. Give one to the caretaker to pray for you. You use one to pray for yourself. Then the third one, take it up and give it to the caretaker. And tell the caretaker that you should put the third wine in the throne room by the throne. Now wherever it's supposed to be put, the caretaker will know. And let the caretaker understand that you want that one in the room untouched. And your purpose is that any time that your ancestors and the gods of your family come back home to visit and you are not there, that's your wine that you want them to use to serve themselves. Don't forget, the energy serve themselves wine all the time. On my altar, any time that the energies come into my room to visit me, Right? Sometimes they come and have a deba at the eastern corner of my room. And they will go and serve themselves wine from my altar. You will see them bringing the, the, the wine to come and drink. If you have eyes and you see what some of us see, you will take whatever we are telling you seriously and you run and do it. So, you will tell him to leave the wine there in the throne room. That any time that the ancestors and the gods come to visit in the throne room and you are not there, they should use your wine to serve themselves. And when they, whenever they are serving themselves, they should remember that you are the one who bought the wine. And therefore, they should quickly come to your aid and help you whenever you call on to them. Your business, your life protection, your life preservation, your family, your children, your relationships, everything should be in order. Now that you are trying to build a relationship with them, you want them to glorify you so that you can glorify them the more. When you are done with this, don't go and visit anybody, don't pass anywhere. Come back straight home. Leave the throne room and head towards your own house, straight, don't pass anywhere. The moment you reach home, go and build an altar of earth. In my next video, I will teach you how to build an altar of earth. If you already have it, then fine. Go ahead. And use the, the fourth wine that you left at home and go to your altar. Call your energies. First show the wine to the heavens and mention ago, ago, ago. If you're a man, three times. If you're a woman, four times. That's a spiritual code. Man, three. Woman, four. And then you invite the heavens and tell them that, show them wine. And then you quickly pour on the altar and call Mother Earth. And tell Mother Earth, you show Mother Earth wine. Then quickly call on your ancestors. The gods of your mother, ma mother's family, the gods of your father's family. Call them both. And tell them that you used to be a prodigal son. You were being unwise. You didn't know what you were doing. You have been brainwashed and you, you were made to believe that they are the devils hunting you up and down. That's why you try to avoid them. Now you know better and you are back home. You went to visit them. This is where you live now. You want this wine that you are pouring today to be a covenant between you and them. Showing that you have accepted to be with them. They should also accept to be with you. Anytime that you come and stand by that altar holding wine or with words. They are the ones that you are calling on to. You are going to serve them today. You want them to also depend on your word and serve you. It's partnership. So tell them exactly what you want to tell them. Protection. Business fruition. Progress in life. Family. Relationship. Anything that's on your heart. Pour it out and tell them. And when you are done, you can say Amen. You can say, let it be. If you are can, you can say, enyaho. 
if you are ever you can say boache elache kiche in your language whatever means uh, let it be or amen you can say it all right now every day i mean uh, uh, every week on the day, particular day that you were born i don't mean your birth date I mean, if you are born on Monday, every Monday, if you are born on Tuesday, every Tuesday, I was born on Sunday, so I do this every Sunday, tomorrow like this, I will do it. Every Sunday, wake up around 4 a.m., between 3 and 4, and go to your altar, get a small wine glass, and then pour alcohol in the small glass i'll show you that kind of glass in my next video when i'm teaching you how to build an altar so you use the alcohol glass to pour libation to your ancestors all right if you begin to do this is what changed my life there is a secret i'm giving you this is what changed my life that today when friends want loan they are able to call me that I'm able to send my, my, my mother something. My life is not the best yet, but it's so much better from before. When I used to, to, to hide inside my room and cry, even though I was a Christian, I was paying my tithe all the time, things were so worse until I chanced upon this secret that I've been using ever since for the past two years. And my life is way better. I'm nowhere close to where I want to be, but at least I don't beg before I eat. Right? So do this, and I'm telling you that your ancestors will never forsake you. Stop calling on the Abrahamic ancestors. You have your own ancestors that you should be using. They are just there waiting on you to just give them invitation into your life. So they will come and organize things in your life for you. Vibrate positivity in your life. You are busy calling on someone else's ancestors. They are not done serving their own generations and descendants. If you expect them to buy time and come to your aid, it will not happen. Please, call on to your own ancestors. They are not devils. Because if you don't call your own, on your ancestors and serve them food and wine so they can help you, you will also surely die and become an ancestor to someone tomorrow. And you will starve. You will eat from the trash, from the refuse dump. Yes, those of you that you haven't been pouring want your ancestor, I'm telling you what happens to them. They have to go and find food on the refuse dump and eat. Yes, when they do a ball, so they eat on the refuse dump on the streets. You, you, you now understand why your life is so messed. They are so much angry at you. That the land on which you live, they fought for the land. And you come today, you tell them that they are what devils. Please, I'm telling you, go for the wine, buy the wine, and do what I'm showing you today. And your life will never be the same. They say a word to the wise is enough. Some will say it's not enough. It's enough. So I came your aid, I came your way today to aid you in life with this basic ritual that's part of the african culture that you're not supposed to leave behind you're supposed to be doing constantly all right so my name is Porvin. now after you begin this journey you also don't forget that you need protection therefore watch this advert about protection risk beach and i bet you need it it helps me you see i put this on my hand once and i made a pact with one of my friends who is a wizard i needed to travel for some information and i needed the wizard to help me because i'm not done activating myself so he came in the night not he she came in the night to come and take me away and i woke up in the morning i realized i couldn't go so i asked what, what happened and she told me when she tapped me, she couldn't wake me and take my soul along. I checked on my deities and they told me this, the reason. Because this was on my hand 
the witch could not come and tap me and take my soul away. That's protection enough. So, when I wanted to do it, I had to remove this from my hand and leave it down. There was one, one of the warrior energies came. I had done something that they needed to come and punish me, kind of. For them, even if they don't want to punish you, that's how they behave. They are warriors. So anytime they come around, they want to fight. Right? Do you know what the warrior told me? I should remove what is on my hand. So that he will show me something. I, I, I realized he was tricking me. So I said no. I doubled it. And we were talking, 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 and he managed to take my mind off the protection. And I removed it. The moment I dropped it down, this deity held on to me and said, Human, what is your wisdom? This one looks like a cook and boo story, but you will have to be in my room to experience what I'm, 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 I'm experiencing. There are some of you that have come to visit me before, and you understand what I'm saying. You need this protection. Now watch this video to understand and know what it does. So there is it. It has been soaked in blood, so uh, that's why the thing looks like this. So when I give it to you, you just have to wash it and it will be flexible. So I put it on your hand for you. Anytime that you are going to ask something from anybody, just be rubbing your hand on it as it is on your hand. Be rubbing your other hand on it and then be talking what you want and go straight to the person and go and ask for it. You will get it. Aside that, when it's on your hand and you are in a vehicle, that gets accident. Even if everybody dies, you will just stand up, shake your the, the, the dust off your body, and you go away. In case someone sends you any juju, and this is on your hand, it will not touch you. You can even let it be on your hand whilst you are fucking your woman. Nothing will happen. As in, like, it, it doesn't get destroyed.